A very good morning, my dear students. Today we are going to continue the chapter number three, that is computer organization. So in this chapter, we already discussed about different types of information. Okay. Now we are going to today we are going to discuss about secondary storage devices. So what does it mean? Okay. What is the use of these storage devices? Let me see now. Okay. Yes. So generally, all computer has a limited amount of main memory, which is more expensive and volatile. This information already already we know about that. That means what? Inbuilt storage is very very limited, and it was more expensive, and it is volatile. Volatile means what? It is not permanent. It is temporary. Okay. So like in this situation, we want to store. more number of data and it will be stored permanently means we need some devices that is known as what secondary storage devices okay so using this secondary storage devices we can store the data and the programs permanently manner okay that is a very much helpful for this secondary storage devices it serve as a supportive storage to main memory and it is what it is a non volatile quite clean nature and it is also called as what backup storage okay so what are the different types of secondary storage devices what are the different types of features okay what are the features they have about that particular device so that and all we are going to discuss now okay we'll see one by one so what are the different types of secondary storage devices we have right see the picture in this slide i just represent what are the different types of secondary storage devices okay yes i hope you all are know about these kind of secondary storage devices so once again we will discuss about this topic in a very deep manner shall we proceed yes so first one is hard disk okay it is one of the important memory storage device in our computer so hard disk is a magnetic disk on which you can store data okay the hard disk has the stacked arrangement of disk it was accessed by a pair of heads for each of the disk that is arrangement of hard disk okay what is the meaning of stacked arrangement the hard disk has the stacked arrangement means what so what data you have to store initially that data will be stored inside the memory in a right manner then after that second data what you stored that will be stored in the next manner then third data you can store that should be stored in a next manner so one by one sequentially all the data should be stored that is nothing but what stacked arrangement <coughs> okay the hard disk comes with a single or double sided disk okay we have a two different types of hard disk one is single sided disk and one is what double sided disk okay so see the picture this is the hard disk image you already seen about that it was inserted inside the cpu okay where it is be located it is located inside the cpu okay so using this disk we can store the data inside the computer okay so this the famous hard disk company like seagate okay this is the storage 2 tb 2 tb terabyte okay it represents or it hold how much space in gp 1024 plus 1024 totally 2048 gp is there okay so this is the information about this hard disk the next one compact disk it is another important the second disk storage device simply we call this is cd a cd room is made from 1.2 mm thick and it is polycarbonate plastic materials okay it have a polycarbonate plastic material a thin layer of aluminium or gold is applied to the surface cd that is what compact disk data is represented as tiny indentation known as pits so all the data should be stored inside the cd like pits 
and it was encoded in a spiral track molded into the top of the polycarbonate layer. This is the mechanism they can follow inside the CD. The areas between pits are known as lands. Okay, so where the data should be stored inside the disk, that is nothing but what lands. A motor within a CD player rotates the disk. So all the CD player have a one motor. That motor having lens. Using the lens, they can read the disk. Okay, the capacity of ordinary CD is seven hundred MB only. Okay. That is the storage capacity of CD, normal CD. Okay, MB is nothing but megabyte. Okay, yes, yeah. This is the pictorial representation of CD. See that? This is the company name Maxell. This is the company name TDK. So many companies we have. Okay, so many companies are manufacturing this kind of compact disc. This is a storage, seven hundred MB. Okay, this is six fifty MB only. And this CD if an R is nothing but reader, it can be only read. You can't able to write. Once you write any information, you can't able to erase. Okay, only one time only you can write some information at the very first manner. After that, you can't able to change anything. So this is what CD readable option. And this is also like that. Okay, CD readable. Okay, readable is nothing but what recordable. Understood. Right. This is the example of normal CD. The next one DVD. The expansion of DVD is nothing but digital versatile disc or digital video disc. Whatever it is, both are correct. It is an optical disc. It should be capable of storing up to 4.7 GB. What is the storing capacity of DVD? 4.7 GB of data we can store inside the DVD disc. It is more than six times what a CD can hold. Okay, more than six times it will be high capacity compared with CD. DVDs are used to store movies at a better quality. Like CDs, DVDs are read with the laser. Okay, DVDs are read read the data using the laser. The disc can have one one or two sides. That means what double side disc also is there. Normally, you know about that. All the CDs and uh, DVDs, what you, whatever you've seen already, everything should be a single side disc, right? One side only you can write. Another side, just it will be pasted the label regarding the data, okay? But in DVD, we have a two sides DVDs is also there in the market. So using that, that uh, if you want to buy that particular DVD means, you can read the data and write the data both the sides, okay? So that's why I told this this disk can have one or two sides and one or two layers of data per side. The number of sides and layers determines how much it can hold. So that is the mechanism about this DVD. Okay. And the diameter of this disk is 12 centimeter in a single side. Single layer has 4.7 GP capacity. Okay. Whereas the single sided double layer has how much? 8.5 GP capacity. Okay. So single side means the capacity maximum level is 4.7 GB. Even that is a double sided disk means it will be store the data like 8.5 GB memory part. The next one 8 centimeter DVD has 1.5 GB capacity. So already we discussed about 12 centimeter diameter. That is a thickness of the disk. Here one more DVD disk that is what 8 centimeter. It have 1.5 GB capacity. The capacity of DVD Room can be visually determined by nothing, the number of data sites of the disk. Okay. And double layered sites are usually gold colored looks like. It will be looks like a gold colored layer, while single layered sites are usually like a silver colored layer. That is the identification of whether it is single layered disk or double layered disk like that. Okay. Yes. So these are the information about digital video or digital versatile disk. This is the uh, image of DVD. See that? Okay. It will be looks like that. DVD plus R. That is for DVD plus recordable. The capacity is 8.5 GP. 8.5 GP. Right? Like this. This is the... And here, see, listen. This disk have read. That is what R plus W. That is for readable, writable. So both readable and writable is possible for this 
disc uh, DVD disc okay right. the next one flash memory de devices flash memory what is that it is nothing but it is an electronic non volatile computer storage medium that can be electrically erased and reprogrammed there are either EEP ROM category or EP ROM category examples of flash memories are what pen drives and memory cards that means what electrically erasable programmable read only memory or erasable programmable read only memory so how many times you want you can erase and you can store multiple times so flash memory device could best example like pen drive or usb and memory cards okay so flash memories can be used in personal computers personal digital assistants that is pda and digital audio players digital cameras and mobile phones and these type of flash memory offers fast access times when compared with DVD and CD the flash memory offers fast access times that means what the data should be accessed or read or processed in a very faster manner the time taken to be read or write with the character in memory is called access time okay so how much time will take to read the data or write the character inside the memory part the capacity of these type of flash memories vary from 1 gigabytes to 2 terabytes up to that we have a different types of flash memory devices okay so what is the best example of flash memory means what number one is pen drive or usb and next one is memory card what is the expansion of usb that is what universal serial bus okay so this is a original name of pen drives early we are using pen drives but the original technical name is what usb okay right and these are the pictorial representation of both USB and memory card. Okay. Yes. The next one, Blu-ray disc. What is the meaning of Blu-ray disc? It is a high density optical disc similar to DVD. It is the type of disc used for PlayStation games and for playing high definition movies. Okay. These are the main purpose of this Blu-ray disc where we are using. A double layer Blu-ray disc can store up to 50 GB gigabytes of data. This is more than 5 times the capacity of DVD and 70 times capacity of CD. Okay, when compared to CD and DVD, it is more memory space. The format was developed to enable recording and rewriting and finally playback of high definition video as well as storing a large amount of data. Why? Because naturally this disc have more number of space compared with both the DVD and CD. DVD uses read the data for red laser and write but Blu-ray uses a blue violet laser to write the data or read the data. You just note down my dear students this is very important sometimes uh, onward will ask from this area. In DVD how much data should be read or how can the data should be read Abhina? The answer is what? Red laser light but in Blu-ray, they can use blue violet laser light. Okay, hence it is called what Blu-ray. That's why blue violet laser we can use for read the data or write the data in in that particular disc. That's why the name is what Blu-ray. Okay, yes. So this is a image for Blu-ray disc. Okay, it is more expensive than both the CD and DVD. Okay, yes, fine. The next topic ports and interfaces so what are the different types of ports input ports and what are the different types of interfaces we have in the computer okay right we see one by one so see the right hand side diagrammatic represents these uh, this is the diagram this is the rear view of your cpu in that cpu we have a uh, different types of options so these are nothing but what the ports and interfaces the motherboard of your computer has many input and output sockets that are connected to the ports and interfaces found on the rear side of your computer. Yeah, of course. The external devices can be connected to the ports and interfaces. So how can you connect various external devices to your computer means using these ports and devices or interfaces. So without these, we can't be able to connect any external devices to your computer. So in your computer, if you want to connect any external devices means you must use this kind of ports and interfaces. We'll see one by one. Okay, right. So first one is serial port. 
to connect the external devices found in old computers okay if you want to connect the external devices to your computers means you can use this serial port okay right the next one parallel port this means to connect the printers found in the old computers so if you want to connect the printer in your computer means using this parallel port okay then third one vga so what is the meaning of vga vga is nothing but video graphics adapter that is expansion of vga please note down video graphics adapter it is a connector a connecting point to connect all type of display devices like lcd projector or led projectors or whatever it is all type of display devices everything will be connected through this vga okay this is the cable now if you have a computer in your house see the uh, back side of your cpu this port is there vga connector is there okay so what is the meaning of lcd liquid crystal display okay right the next one ps slash 2 port this port especially used for connect keyboard and mouse but nowadays all the mouse having a port like usb port okay nowadays the recent all the devices having usb port like this but this is the oldest pin model to connect both the keyboard and mouse okay right the next one usb port universal serial bus port to connect external devices like cameras scanners mobile phones external hard disk and printers to the computer so this is a usb port using this usb cable you just insert in this usb port okay it will be looks like that All right the next one usb 3.0 it is the version 3.0 is a version name it is the third major version of universal serial bus it is standard to connect computers with other electronic gadgets okay so usb 3.0 can transfer data up to 5 gigabits per second that means what it will be transfer the data in a more faster manner okay and like usb 3.1 and 3.2 also is released okay nowadays all devices having 3.0 version okay after that 3.1 and 3.2 is also released right the next one audio plugs so this is the port used for connecting speakers microphones and headphones these are the jack this can jack this is the name is what jack using this jack you just connect your plugs okay regarding the audio devices so this is what your headset this is mic that is microphone and this is outside outside the uh, uh, loop for connecting the external audio devices the next one is csi port so what is the meaning of scsi port this port especially we can connect the hard disk drives and the network connectors hard disk drive and network connectors these are the main purpose of this scsi ports okay All right the next one high definition multimedia interface that is what simply we call hdmi nowadays all the electronic devices having this hdmi cable or the hdmi port this hdmi port having two different types one is normal hdmi port and another one is micro hdmi port okay so this high definition multimedia interface that is expansion of hdmi it is on both audio and video interface which transfers uncompressed video that means what high quality video and audio data from a video controller to a compatible computer monitor or LCD projector or digital television etc. So these are the different types of device. We can use the uncompressed video to our audio if you want to transfer or telecast to the particular display devices means you can use this kind of HDMI interface and ports. Okay. Yes. That's all. So these are the different types of ports and interfaces in our computers. Okay. So using these ports and interfaces, you can connect the external devices to your computer. So that's all about this lesson. So lesson topic is over. Okay. The next class, we'll see the next lesson. Okay. Thank you. Love you.